Hello, so in this video we will talk about how we can construct a context-free grammar to generate uh, for a given problem for example. In this question, in this video we will talk about a problem of generating all signed decimal numbers. So a recap, what is a context-free grammar? So which type grammar are we talking about? So this is type 2 grammar. And what are what is the only restriction, what is the main restriction in type 2 grammar? That all the protections are of the form w1 is replaced by w2 where this is a single symbol in the non-terminal in the set of non-terminal elements okay. okay now let's start so what are the conditions i mean what how does a typical sign decimal number look so it it is consisting of a sign which is plus or minus right this is the first thing then we have a non-negative integer Okay, which means we should have plus 0 point something or plus 5 point something or plus 74 times something or plus 7,477 times something and so on. And then it should follow by a decimal fraction which is either empty string or a decimal point followed by a positive integer where initial zeros in an integer are allowed. So for example, we can have 73 minus 73.001105 for example this is right so initial zeros are allowed and we have this integer here okay so now let's start with our production so what should our v look like so now no, note that for constructing a grammar the only thing we need to take care of is this thing okay um, now there is no one right answer to this so somebody can come up with a different uh, context-free grammar as long as this is satisfied and we have uh, the basic you know basic definitions of uh, phrase structure grammar is uh, taken care of so the answer should be correct okay okay so let's see what is our V so our V is has a sign and it has integer and it has decimal fraction and it has uh, non zero digits and it has uh, it has a symbol a and we will see what does it mean and how does it come into play and then we have uh, 0 1 2 3 four five six seven eight nine and then it has plus and it has a minus okay so this is our vocabulary okay now what is our terminal elements our terminal elements are plus minus and we have zero one two three four five six seven eight nine okay okay and then our non-terminal elements are obviously i don't have to write it it's just all the elements of v which are not in t okay okay and our starting element is uh, I, I should have another one right so this one should be uh, i would say sign decimal number okay so my s is this sign decimal number okay okay now note that this s has to be by the rules of phrase structure grammars s has to be within v right now we talk about the main part here we have to talk about some set of productions here so set of productions okay so first of all basic ones so i say sign can be replaced by plus and sign can be replaced by minus okay now I, I can say non-zero digits can be replaced by one non-zero digits can be replaced by two and to save space I can say non-zero digits can be replaced by nine so this guy means that non-zero digit can be replaced by any number from one to nine this part right so from 3 to 8 is not skipped this is taken care of by this ellipsis here okay and then what then we have integer okay now 
for integer i will say integer can be replaced by a non zero digit okay and then i also want to say that integer can be replaced by an integer followed by a z so note that this is the right hand side of uh, right hand side of what right hand side of a production so this can have more than one symbol okay but left hand side cannot okay. and then i want to say integer integer symbol a and integer okay and then i want to say uh, decimal fraction this can have uh, a decimal point a and integer or my decimal fraction can be replaced by what do you say uh, just a decimal point and an integer so what did what mistake did i do the mistake i do did was that this decimal point is not in the vocabulary so i would i should say this decimal point should be here okay okay so this is very common here so once you have a vocabulary in mind and once you start writing the production it's very very common that you see that okay this symbol should be there but it's not in the vocabulary so you always have to go back and forth to uh, for self correctness okay and then we have a uh, decimal fraction oh it is already taken care of okay. then we have a replaced by 0 a and a replaced by 0 okay okay and then we have obviously and then we have the sign decimal number can be replaced by sign integer and decimal fraction or sign decimal number can be replaced by sign and integer okay so this is my claim is that this set of productions can generate any decimal number but how to check whether my claim is correct or not hmm, that's a good interesting question let me now go here change the color maybe okay. okay now what i want is i want to generate this number i want to say plus 31.00701 hmm. so i have to start with since it is it has a decimal so i will start with this one so i will start with uh, stn uh, placed by sign uh, integer decimal fraction okay. now this sign now then I will say so this is this should be double arrow right now this sign can be replaced by what this sign can be replaced by plus because I want a plus so plus integer decimal fraction then this integer, this integer can be replaced by integer and non-zero digit. Where is that? So integer, I think I missed one, hey? Okay, so this guy should have another one. Integer, integer and non-zero digit. So then I will use plus integer non zero digit and decimal fraction. Okay, and then I'll say uh, this can be replaced by another non zero digit by using this guy. So I can say uh, plus a non zero digit, non zero digit, and decimal fraction. And then non-zero digit can be replaced by 
any number from 1 to 9. So I'll, I'll replace this by 3 and this by 1 and I will do it, it in one step. Okay, so plus 3, 1 and then decimal fraction. Now decimal fraction is, I have to use what? I have to use, remember I, I need two zeros in the start. So I will use uh, plus 31, I will use uh, this guy, point A integers. So let's say point A integer. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So now A is what? A can be replaced by 0A or 0. So I have, I want, because I want two zeros, so I will rule, use 0A here. So I will say plus 31.0A integer. Interesting. Then this A can be replaced by this 0 due to this guy. Now I can say plus 31.00 integer. Okay, now I want to replace this integer by, uh, I want to use this guy, uh, integer A integer. Okay. So then I will say plus 31.00 integer a integer okay now this integer can be replaced by non-zero digit and this replaced by non-zero digit and this is replaced by zero so i'm going to use uh, all of them in one go so plus 31.00 and the non-zero digit zero non-zero digit and this non-zero digit can be replaced by seven and this can be replaced by one so then i get plus 31.00701 okay so this is how this is the long derivation of uh, my required number here okay Let's do another one here. So now what I want is I want to generate minus seven point. Let's do a nasty one. Zero five zero zero five. Okay. So this this is what I want to generate. So again I will start with the same thing. SDN you know, sign decimal number can be replaced by sign uh, what? sign integer decimal fraction so sign integer decimal fraction now sign can be replaced by a negative sign integer can be replaced by a seven and we'll see i'm going to do this one in one go so negative seven decimal fraction decimal fraction can be replaced by a point int and point a int. so i want to say because i have a zero in the start so i will use a here so I'll say minus seven point a int. Now this integer can uh, this a can be replaced by zero, right? So then I will say minus seven point zero int. Interesting. Okay. So then this is minus seven point zero. Now in this int, I will ha I have to use this guy. Uh, what what should I use? I have to use this int a int here. So then I will use int a int okay now this int can be replaced by non-zero digit okay and this non so i have to do it this way so minus 7.0 non-zero digit a int then this non-zero digit can be replaced by 5 so i can say minus 7.05 a int interestingly now this a can be replaced by 0 a. 0 a is where? This is the guy, right? So minus 7.05, 0 a, then int. Then this a can be replaced by 0. So now you see the number of time, the number of zeros you want. So that is why you use this a. So if I want two zeros, once I will use a to 0 a, and then in the end I will just use 
a to 0. If I want four zeros, for example, then I will use a to 0 a three times, and then in the end, I will just use a to 0. So minus 7.05, 0, 0, int. Now this int can be replaced by non-zero digit, and this non-zero digit can be replaced by 5, right? So then we end up with minus 7.05005. Okay. Okay. Now this is the way we generate uh, we generate a specific you know output of a given problem. Now how to how do how did I come up with this? This was by lots of hit and trial here. The only rule I want to keep in mind is that I do I can't use more than one symbol on the left hand side, right? So once I have uh, uh, figuring out that we have to use this symbol A here is you know takes you know some expertise and some skills and some some you know some deep thinking here. So this was my personal experience when when I was trying to do it. This part this part took me some you know. Uh, some some thinking and how to use this guy here and how to use uh, this one here because when I was trying to make uh, an output of this this number I was stuck with these uh, you know number of multiple zeros between two non-zero integers and then I okay what I did was I stopped here and I said okay I what if there's no decimal here and I want to just generate five zero zero five so then I realized that okay, I, I not only do I need a with the decimal fraction, I also need a for for our, my integers here. Okay, so uh, this is it about how to generate a type two grammar or context-free grammar for a given problem. And the problem we discussed was how to generate uh, sign decimal numbers. Hope it was easy easy to understand. And uh, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video.